everybody i hope i don't look crazy right now because my lighting is going in and out but if you're new here hi welcome if you're one of my ogs hey girl i know it's been a little minute it's been a minute since i came on here and recorded i have been i have been busy okay you guys that's all i gotta say for right now but i'm super duper excited to get back in front of the camera again so if you could not tell by the title of this video i will be trying out some new products if you are new here i want to give a little bit of a background on my hair before we start so in the beginning of january i actually have a youtube video already posted up on this i big chopped the rest of my heat damaged hair and then all the way to now i have been you know growing my hair out and this is what she's kind of looking like now on the camera i feel like it's not really portraying the full essence of what it looks like in person i've been fooling with it a little bit i've been like putting it in puffs and stuff so it looks a little bit different this is a wash and go day four hair so this is what she's looking like so it's time to wash my hair so today in this video i have the honor of trying these new products out during this whole transitioning phase in general i've just been trying to find concrete products that will keep my hair strengthened and just keep my hair from breaking off because now that my hair is 100 percent healthy i want to make sure that i'm retaining that length and making sure i'm not having excessive breakage now i can say and i can be honest these past couple months i have been all over the place super duper busy so i have not had the time to really focus on taking care of my hair and that is very very important because that's what we're here for we're here to take care and nurture our hair and i'm not gonna say i've been slacking but your girl has been doing a lot a lot of slick backs and in a previous youtube video of mine i said i was gonna stop slick backs i said i was gonna stop miss girl this side part she's suffering not even gonna lie to you she is suffering um i have been noticing a lot of breakage right here hopefully i can show you guys once i um get in the shower and start washing my hair i can even like touch it right now like all this right here is breakage like this should be the same length as this but it's not and that's the problem and we do not want our edges to break off for today's video i have collaborated with the one and only do girl thank you so much for sponsoring this video i'm gonna be testing out these products for the next couple weeks and i'm obviously the proof is gonna be in the pudding as i continue to record for you guys and record more content i am going to, you guys are going to see results and i'm going to update you guys on this patch of my hair and we're going to see if this section of my hair gets thicker again because that is the main goal i really do want to stay away from slip bags because it is not a low manipulation style and it's very high maintenance on your hair so i'm going to be using this do grow moisturizing shampoo and we'll see if it sticks up to its name because it says it's a moisturizing shampoo so i'm expecting for this not to show my hair and i've been working on the hydration and moisturization of my hair making sure that my hair is staying hydrated and moisturized key so i want to make sure that this is not going to strip my hair so i will be right back when my hair is officially 100 wet and we're gonna see this nice little montage that i'm gonna do So now that we have our section, I'm going to divide that section into another smaller section and I'm going to completely soak my hair. As you guys know, I like to use warm water to soak my hair and I'm about to begin finger detangling. Since this was a day four wash and go, my hair was a little bit tangled. It was a little bit tangled. You guys know how natural hair gets when, as, as the style gets further on. So I just want to make sure I'm taking the time to detangle it. Typically I do detangle in the shower, but we were doing it out the shower today so i'm gonna go in with this moisturizing shampoo and first thing i'm gonna say the smell it smells really good you guys know i love my smell good products and it felt really good on my scalp like it lathered up really really nicely i feel like if i was actually to use this in the shower it would just lather so nicely so i tried to really focus on the main sections of my hair like i tried to focus on my edges because that's where i put a lot of my edge control i tried to focus on the top of my hair because 
my scalp was really really itchy before this so i'm just really focusing on the main parts of my hair where i had the most so product boom i'm officially out the shower so i just got finished rinsing out the shampoo and i probably said it in the voiceover already but that shampoo smelled really good i actually really liked it so um my scalp my hair doesn't feel like stripped or dry or anything so that's good um i'm actually waiting for my cube review to heat up um it's a steamer it's going to be featured on my instagram so make sure you guys go check that out condition my hair i'm going to use the ultimate strengthening conditioner and it looks like this and i think i smelled this earlier you guys know i love a good smell test um, mm -hmm, smell yeah it smells good to me just going to split my hair down and then I'm just apply it to each section. I'm gonna go in with the cube redo and I'll steam my hair. This is gonna be my first time using the steamer, so I'm a little bit nervous. Uh... Okay, we're back again, and I'm gonna need a little bit more time with this conditioner. Next time, I am going to try this in the shower to see if it makes a difference in the slip. But I just wish this conditioner had a little bit more slip. Don't you love when that conditioner has that slip and it just beautifully works to your hair? Yeah. We're going to try this again, but in the shower, and I'll tell you guys if I see a difference. Okay, so boom. Um, I just got finished putting the deep conditioner in. And I'm going to leave this in for a couple, I don't know, a couple minutes. Not too long. Um, only because... It is 11-11, a make-a-wish. Um, I have work early in the morning tomorrow, so I kind of need to finish my hair. And everything food-wise is going to close at 11. So I need to hurry up. Um, no, it closes at 1. Once I finish rinsing this out, um, once I'm rinsing out, then we'll go to the styling process. But the styling process will be in a different video. So if you would like to see how I'm going to style my hair, make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. While I was doing this, like my, I started to see my curls really starting to pop. So this deep conditioner is definitely doing its thing. I'm really liking what I'm seeing and it smells good too. It always gets extra brownie points if it smells good. Good morning, good morning. So it is officially the next day. Your girl was exhausted, so she did fall asleep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I do have to work. Um, I have to be there by 9 o'clock, and it is currently 8 o'clock right now. So, I'm just going to show you guys what my hair looks like. All I did was put this plastic cap on. Um, typically, if I don't go straight to the styling process, I do put a plastic cap on just to keep the... Um, the hydration there I guess you can say I don't know I just know it's kind of like a deep condition effect oh and don't mind I have my curology pads right here because I broke out a little bit but um so I'm gonna take this out and the plastic cap usually keeps it still wet because I have high porosity hair and my moisture and that hydration leaves just like this so having a plastic cap it keeps it wet still and my hair is still damp so that's good the top part will little drop Mm, my hair smells good my hair smells really good i can say that this is what my hair is looking like oh and my scalp feels really really clean right now but it doesn't feel stripped like if anything my hair doesn't feel stripped i gotta look at these top pieces right here because apparently these pieces are just my looser curls but i kind of don't want to believe that i feel like it's supposed to give a little bit more than what it's giving but if anything this top section of my hair it still needs to be cut some way somehow she did say like it's looser up top and that you know I'll just have to finger coil but I was to get one more cut and was to let it grow out and get rid of the rest even though it's like already gone maybe I'm in denial that you know I have different textures in my hair I, I want all of them to be coily, like the bottom, but you know, it's okay, it's whatever. So now um, I actually am about to style my hair. I was going to style my hair on camera, but due to time, um, I'm going to have to do something else. So I'm going to, uh, actually I am going to use some of this Do Girl Hair Vitalizer right now. I'm just going to massage my scalp with it. It smells good as well. It smells good as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my hands 
And I'm just gonna massage my scalp on the front part because that's where she's struggling at. I know you I know you see it I I know you see it I know you see it you see it I see it we all see it do grow is that girl okay guys so I'm just gonna give you guys a little rundown of where I've been at and how I'm liking these products because let me tell you guys I'm not gonna go a product on my channel without fully fully doing a review on it myself so with do grow this was my first time ever trying do grow i've heard of the company before but i've never really used it on my hair personally and let me tell you after a couple weeks of using this product i'm sorry i'm loving what i'm seeing like the shine and the body that my hair is it's it's doing the thing because the fact that it has this much volume and you know i did experience some breakage on my hair is amazing like i've been using this shampoo i'm telling you for a couple weeks now honestly my favorite shampoo it smells so good it gets my hair clean without stripping it i love it i'm about to smell it right now it just smells so good every time i think about it i get happy like washing my hair makes me happy <laughs> it smells like a banana like it smells it smells really good i like it so i really enjoy washing my hair with this shampoo what it's supposed to give i'm gonna insert some clips of my hair over the past couple of weeks so you guys can see the process as well and you guys can see how my hair has been changing and i'm loving it i'm loving it a deep conditioner only thing i have to say about this because i remember in the first clip i was saying i need a little bit more time with this it's just the slip i wish this had the slip that I wanted and needed. I really wanted to. Like washing my hair in the shower with it, like clearly. Literally look at this. Like I really love the conditioner, but I just wish it had more slip, man. I wish. But my hair is always so soft when I rinse it out. So hey, it don't even matter. And this right here, here I've been using it on my problem spots. I just been taking the time to really just like massage my scalp. Like I'm even about to do it now. Like this is a technically a day two wash and go. Got doing finished doing my stretching routine. So after I do my stretching routine, I would just take the time to massage my scalp with it i really hope you guys enjoyed the video so i have one more surprise for you because we see the results they're get like i said it's giving it's giving the volume the shine all of it is giving we'll be doing a giveaway on my instagram with these products so you have the opportunity to win these products as well it is all you have to do is follow me follow do grow extra brownie point Say in the comment section, what are your hair goals for the remainder of the year? This giveaway will be held on my Instagram. I believe it's a 24 hour giveaway, but I will let you guys know in the caption of the Instagram post. If you want to get an extra little brownie point, you can put under the comments in my YouTube. What are your hair goals for the remainder of the year? I'm really interested. As you guys know, my hair goal is to grow back, grow up my pieces that broke off and just continue to grow and flourish as natural hair should okay so i'm gonna see you guys in my next video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos just like this one love you guys